at number 5. Schwarzer Panther, 2014. After many years apart, Emily meets her brother Jakob again. She not only shares her sadness about the loss of their parents with him, but also a secret. It is Emma's wish to arrange the sale of their jointly inherited holiday house in the Swiss Alps. Unlike her brother, a professional skateboarder, she needs the money as a young entrepreneur. The family business, which she took over with her boyfriend Andreas, is heavily indebted. Emily consciously retains a certain distance toward her brother, having successfully repressed her emotions toward him for many years. Two things that do not always coincide. Number 4. Pleasant Days, 2002. Peter returned from prison in his native city, in the hope that it will begin happy days. With surprise he learns that his sister became a foster mother to the newborn boy. But a real mother of the child, extravagant. Maya wants to take it back. Peter falls in love with Maya. He's torn between his girlfriend and trying to manipulate sister. But he has to make a choice. And the happiness was so close, melt into thin air. Number 3. Drifters, 2011. For the young Met, a graphologist fascinated by the psychology hidden behind writing, it's an embarrassing and difficult situation having to take care of his half-sister Belinda, a 17-year-old teenager in the balance between everything and nothing, during the second marriage of Met's father. To avoid the situation, Met pretends to be mostly busy with Damiano, a womanizer friend, and Bruno, colleague and separated father. But Met must eventually face his half-sister, a subject hitherto only grazed. Number 2. The Unspeakable Act, 2012. Jackie is a normal teenager. Except that for as long as she can remember, she's been in love with her older brother Matthew. They rely on each other for friendship and support. But Matthew doesn't share his sister's feelings. When he departs for college, Jackie must contend with life on her own. Number 1. One to Another, 2006 A story about bunch of people, who live in a town in provincial France. At the center of it all is Pierre. A conceited and vain bisexual musician, in his late teens who acts as a magnet, to varying degrees. For a whole array of characters, from his sister, Lucy, with when Pierre turns up dead, Lucy investigates the reasons for his demise, and charts the network of sadomasochistic relationships that crisscross the town.